U.S. President Donald Trump is cutting aid to Central America and threatening to close the border with Mexico as the U.S. struggles with exploding immigrants along the border. The State Department announced it was cutting aid to Honduras, El Salvador and Guatemala at the president's orders. No reason was given for the move, but it comes as Trump voices frustration over growing numbers of immigrants from these countries crossing into the U.S. Critics said slashing aid to Central America could backfire and cause the ranks of illegal immigrants to swell as they flee countries mired in poverty and violence. Trump is also quarreling with Mexico, threatening to close the border unless it cracks down on illegal immigrants passing through Mexico to get to the U.S. The month of March is set to have more than 100,000 illegal border crossings, which would be the highest level in a decade. But Mexico is going to have to do something, otherwise I'm closing the border. I'll just close the border. And with a deficit like we have with Mexico and have had for many years, closing the border will be a profit-making operation. Trump could deliver on that threat as early as next week, a move that would be sure to send shockwaves through the border economy and beyond. Mexico is the U.S.'s third largest trading partner, with annual commerce topping $600 billion. Mexico's president says his country is doing what it can to curb the flow of immigrants, adding that he wants to avoid a spat with Trump. El tiene... Una visión. He has a vision, and I respect it and consider it legitimate. But we have our strategy to handle migration, the creation of jobs, of welfare. We want migration to be optional, not obligatory. Now, Trump has threatened to shut the border with Mexico in the past, and so far nothing has happened. But this time he's giving a timetable for the closure. We'll know in a few days' time if he means it this time. Toby Muse, CGTN, Washington.